This is Alameda Central in Mexico City, not far from where I work. Today, the air is clear, but not so long ago we were suffering from heat waves with high temperature and choking air. Climate change means that we are seeing more heat waves around the entire world. And because extremely hot weather kills, WRI named heat as one of our stories to watch for 2024. But it's not just the high temperatures that are dangerous. More heat means more pollution, and that's deadly. I am Beatriz Cárdenas, and Mexico City is my home. 30 years ago, United Nations named this city as the most polluted city on Earth. I remember the dirt and dust in the air, and breathing the air was like smoking two packs of cigarettes a day. It was horrible. I remember being worried about the levels of air pollution, particularly when I was pregnant, and I started worrying about the health of my baby. But then citizens and authorities of this city decided to do something about it. And this includes implementing measures like using cleaner burning fuels to generate electricity and power vehicles. Now we're seeing more vehicles, electric vehicles, buses and trams in the streets. Today, Mexico City air is cleaner than before. And this means that people are healthier, living on average more than three years longer than they used to. You can see it in this chart. The purple weeks of bad air in 1990 gradually give way to much cleaner green and yellow. But even though the progress has been made, the vast majority of the people is still exposed to dangerous air pollution every day. As we have seen in Mexico City, there are proven solutions. And as WRI work shows, cities have diverse tools to deal with air pollution. This includes electrification, better public transport, and better planning as cities grow. Warning systems for heat waves and air pollution are also critical to reduce exposure. WRI Canary Alert Forecasting helps people here in Mexico and across the world to adapt to these changing conditions. Warning, save lives. But dealing with air quality is not just about cleaner energy, better city design and adaptation. Extreme heat is now the core of the problem. And that means that if we really want to deal with air pollution problems, we also need to deal with climate change. It is all linked. We have one atmosphere and that's why air quality, like heat, is a story to watch.